I'm gonna move faster, move faster, move faster. You're too slow. What did you say happened to him? He collapsed. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. I told him to take a day off, but he refused and he must go to work. Mom, please, relax. Jane just called that the doctor is doing everything possible to make sure he's stable. Get my bag, I need to get to the hospital right away. You can't go there, please. What do you mean I can't go there? The doctor strictly instructed that your presence will worsen the situation. Please, ma'am. I, I don't understand. What does that even mean? Everything is under control. You <sighs> need to check what's was here. Can you call Chekwasi? Just call him. Just call him. Just, just, just call him. Just relax. <sighs> I just don't know why this is happening now. I don't know why this is happening now. Why, why, why now? I'm just coming back from America. Why now? Why today? You need to calm down. Someone faster, faster, faster. Don't forget that action is life for Excuse me, sir. Yes. What is going on? Everything is going fine. Okay, no need to worry. Uh, Paulina, please go out to the gate. Find out why Nusani has not put on the jerry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Look, we are doing everything to stabilize him. Okay, calm down. I have to go to the hospital. I don't understand. You can't go there. We've been through this. What do you mean I can't? My husband is lying there in the hospital. I don't even know if he's still alive. I have a feeling the doctor is lying to me. He's not telling me the truth. You know what? Let me quickly call Jane to find out what is going on over there. I don't know why you people are stopping me. Am I not supposed to be at the hospital with my husband? Let me quickly call Jane to know what is going on over there. I'll be back shortly. Please relax, man. Please. I don't even understand. I need to relax. I don't... How am I supposed to, how am I even supposed to relax? Stella! Jen, what's going on over there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? They're working on it. The doctor said they're working on it. Working on what? How is Chief? Their power source went off. What? The power, they took him to another hospital. They just move him to emergency ward now. Without light? How can they work? Somewhere is not wrong. We are going to pick checkers from the airport. Oh, mom, please don't go anywhere. Where is my khaki? This is my khaki. No, I can't find my khaki. I need to drive myself to the hospital. Jacket! Jacket! Ah. Ma, you washed my car. Where is the khaki? Um, uh, uh, hey, Ma. Where is my khaki? Hey, Ma, you be less hard on Samu. Is something wrong? Where is my khaki? I'm telling you, don't know where it is. What is wrong with you, people? You be less hard on Samu, Ma. You are mad. What is wrong with you? What is all this? Why are you for driving me crazy? What is all this? I need my khaki. I need to go to the hospital. And you're telling me you can't find the khaki. What is this? I should calm down. I can find someone and I can find my khaki. Oh, what is going on here? Why is this? You know why I'm guessing? Don't sleep and driving me crazy. Do you know 
what it means. My husband is dead in the hospital. Are you telling me to shut down? I need to shut down. <laughs> You never saw the key. I sure of wish. Hide the key. Don't bring it out. I thought you were for river, river, go carry and go. Are you stupid? Did I ask you to throw the key away? What's wrong with you? Inside. I'm hiding under my bed. Nice. Come, 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 come. Thank you. Thank you. People, where are you taking his body to? It's okay. You've done your best. Let Chief rest. Excuse me? No, you should excuse us. You played your part. We will take it from here. We need to take him to where he belongs. To Mother Earth. He belongs to us. And everything he owned. He got it from Earth. And to Earth must all return. That should be explanatory enough. Let's go. See this kind of miserable oh, host. Doctor, doctor, what is going on? Why are those men? Where are they taking his 
body too. They took his body. They took my poop. I need to make a call. Okay, okay. You can use my own. It's my own. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. Oh. They gave you my phone? Yes, they gave me for the left. Thank you, thank you. Go back to the case. Are you the doctor? Yes, I am the doctor. Where's my father? Eh? Please, I must apologize. I need to confess. In my 20 years experience as a medical professional, I've never had such an experience like I just had a moment ago. What are you talking about? Where's my father? Look, in my 20 year career, I've seen patients die in my hands. But Chief Okewa. Wait, is my father dead? Huh? That is not the problem. So, what is the problem? Can you talk to me? I, I was called and told that my father is ill and he was brought here. Now I'm here. What, what, what are you saying? Where, where is he? Please calm down. Can we go to my office? Which one is calm down? Talk to me, for God's sake. I'm, I'm not a child, I'm an adult. What's going on? Is my father dead? Yes, he said, please, your, your father is dead. He died 30 minutes ago. Please, take it easy. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Please calm down. Like I said, let's go to my office and have a little. So, please. So I know. Can I see his body? That's where the problem is. You see, immediately your father took his last breath. Strange things began to happen. The generator went off, and some strange men walked in here. They wished your father's corpse out. They took it away. What are you saying? What men? I've never met them from Adam. Strange men, mysterious men. They came into your hospital and <laughs> took my father's body. Yes. <laughs> like, like, my father's body was abducted? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sort of. Right before you? I couldn't do it. It was sudden. They even took my phone. I'm just recovering it now. It was a strange experience. What? So you couldn't get the police involved? You? Can't come out. Tell her to come and pay the last respect to her late husband. Oh my goodness. Chief is dead. Chief is gone. Wait, it was so fast. 
These men are mysterious men. They threaten to kill me. How did you know they are mysterious? What are you talking about, my friend? Where is my father? Huh? I said, where is where is my father? If you say he's dead, let me see his body. What nonsense are you telling me? That people came in here and took 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 took, took my father's body? Huh? Right in your presence. You didn't call the police. You didn't stop them here. You didn't lock up this place. You didn't call your security. Please, where is my father? Please, it happened. So where is my father? Please, please. If I ask you again, I will redesign your face with this one. Please, please. Two. One. Please, please. <laughs> Don't move. Do not move. Stay there. Hello? Yeah? Uh, right now? You mean they're there now? Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming right away. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please, Jay. Okay. Keep watching. <laughs> She's broken. She can't come out. Who are you, please? Identity means nothing to you. We have come to do that which we are obligated to do. from the hospital, I should be asking you that. My father's body was taken. Where, 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 where are the people? Hmm? They were here. Who? The man. What man? I'm asking you now. Where, the man who took him. So who are they? How am I supposed to know? Mother, I'm asking you. How can you sit down here and be so comfortable and people will take father's body? You're not doing anything about it. What, what's going on? How can you stand there and blame me over what I don't know? for over five years. I'll be begging you to return home. Return home and do what? Run your family for you. So what is supposed to be your duty to my father as a wife? And what is supposed to be your duty as a son to your parents? Tell me! Mother. Mm. Mother, please, this is not the time for this conversation. The both of you shouldn't be doing this, please. Excuse me. I'm trying to have a healthy discussion with my mother. You're cutting in. Who the hell are you? Who is she? 
what do you call a healthy discussion? You stand there and blame your mother for what she knows nothing about, and you call this healthy discussion. Mother, what is healthy about this? You still haven't answered my question. Who is she? Who is she? She's your father's secretary. She has been staying with us since your father's illness became very serious. Uh huh. As a matter of fact, she's your wife. What the heck? Excuse me. She's what? Your wife. My wife? Yes. As a matter of fact, the bride price has been paid by your father. Bride price paid by my father? Yes, Chekwas. Do, do, do I look like I'm 16 to you people? What, 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 what nonsense? For God's sake, I never told you I'm looking for a wife. I, that's my, that's my fiance. All right, her name is Julian. I came back from America with her. See that? Just make yourself comfortable. I'll see you guys. Marcus, Marcus. CK. It's always good to see you. Good to see you, bro. Please forgive me. I couldn't pick you up at the airport like I earlier promised. I had too much on my plate. It's all right, it's all right. Well, look at you, man. You look <laughs> great. How was your trip? <sighs> look, I have bigger problems to worry about. Problems? Yes, huge oh, problems. What are you talking about? I can't find my father's cops. I heard some men came to the hospital and took him. <sighs> look, CK, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm here. I, I think you have to come with me. You know where the cops is? Not exactly, but, but you have to come with me. Come on, man. If you know something, talk to me. Tell me. <sighs> look, look, Sika, you'll get answers to all you sick. I believe you will. Just come with me. As a matter of fact, we have to leave now. Trust me. Yeah. The intensity of this song is not friendly. I know you might be thirsty. Dr. James, drink. your hospital and whisk away the cops of very important personality in town. What do you have to say about this? Officer, I mean all oh, as much as you are. In all my years of medical practice, I've never witnessed such an experience. You know, one will be tempted to believe that you connive with the men to kidnap the cops. For what purpose, officer? I don't eat human beings. Even if I do, I don't eat dead ones. One would be tempted to think his son has a hand in this. Why do you say that? I was wondering why he returned immediately his father's corpse was abducted from my hospital. What are you trying to say? You are a detective here. Figure it out. I see. From all I have gathered, you are the only one you've trusted before I died. You're right. So, where is the body? Some evil men took it. Which men? I don't know. They came to the house looking very scary and evil. They requested to see Chief's wife. You mean Chief Okenwa's wife? Yes. 
you call him chief. Yes. It's all right. Go ahead. A man, I believe, is your leader came to the compound with an ambulance. Along with him was some scary men. He requested for chief's wife to come out to see his cops before they leave. But mommy refused. Why? I guess he was in shock. I came out and told them. They said they had fulfilled their obligation and they were taking chief's body to where it belongs. They left. From your assessment of the men, what do you think about them? I think there's a form of cultists or something. Cultists? Do you think Chief Okemwa belonged to a court group before he died? I never suspected, but the day he died, he, he behaved strangely. He spoke in riddles as if he knew he was going to die. Sir. Please sit down. Sir, is everything all right? Yes. Okay. Stella, I want you to promise me one thing. Okay. What is that, sir? I want you to promise me that if anything happens to me from today, you will not allow my wife to visit me in the hospital. Sir, so I'm confused. What could possibly happen to you? As a matter of fact, you are hale and hearty as I resumed work today. Yes, I understand. But I want you to promise me. And I trust you keep to your words. Sir, nothing will happen to you. Promise me. It's very important to me. Okay, I promise. Good. Go and get me my coffee. Okay, sir. Father in his absence. Who is the wife? Now listen carefully. Foremost, I am disappointed that Okenwa did not do his job in letting you know what you should know. But now that I have your attention, this is what it is. He was one of us. And that's why we took him. His body is not going to be buried till seven days. And his corpse will be here for that period. We do not go to mortuary, neither do we throw parties. We just lay our own to rest. His spirit is still hovering around here because he has a message for you. Pay attention and be ready to do his biddings. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for what? Oh. Ready for what? Bullshit. I should be the one asking you if you're ready to handle the volcano that is about to erupt here if you don't give me my father's corpse right now. Now you listen. You have seven days. Seven hours. Seven minutes to be initiated into the dome of the Mother Earth. Yes, calamity will befall you and your entire family. You have seven seconds. Can you hear me? You have seven seconds to give me my father's corpse right now. Seven seconds or you cannot handle what I'm going to do here now. Seven. Oh my God. Okay, let's help me. Help me, let's take my father. Father, Lord, well, there's nothing to listen to. Eh? Look, you're not dying now. You're not leaving us now. And even if you are, I, I'm not getting into any ridiculous cult. Hell no. Bring your voice down. Then you have to stop talking about dead things and, and some confraternity. There are things I need to tell you so that even when I know more, you need to know them. Oh, Father, Father, stop, stop disturbing yourself. Look, stop straining your little strength. Eh? You heard what the doctor said. All you need right now is some, you know, good rest. That's all you need, and that's what's more important. Eh? Let's leave this talk about becoming a member of some court group and all of that. I'm not, I'm not interested. Stay good, but take this from me. <laughs> take this. What am I supposed to do with this? And get me water to drink. <laughs> it's alright. I'll go. I'll go get it. Please, just. <laughs> Father, I got you the water. Father. <laughs>
our house. It's been seven months, seven weeks, seven days since your father died. Everything he had, including you, belongs to us. Didn't he tell you that? Your obligation is to join the confraternity of the Mother Earth. She will be initiated tonight into the confraternity. When the time comes, someone will pick you up. You killed my father. And now you stand before me, asking me to join your stupid cult. Listen to me. I will do no such thing. I am not my father. I want you to get out of my house now. You have seven days, seven hours, seven minutes to make your decision No. As calamity will be for you and your entire family. Get out. something to tell you. Look, um, my father belonged to a secret cult. What? Secret cult? Yes, and, and before he died, he, he asked me to join them as his replacement. But I refused. Yes, I refused. I, I, I never knew it was this serious until, until now. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Honey, what are we going to do? Are you going to join them? Hell no. I mean, I can't do such a thing. Whatever covenant they had died with him. It has nothing to do with me. That's it. Honey, those men looked very dangerous. I was so scared. Well, I didn't have a business with them. Yes, I have no business with them. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm not scared of them.
your time is running out. You have seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds to join the confraternity of the Mother Earth. Now you listen to me. I am not interested in your stupid cut. I am not. The next time I see the both of you near me, I will have you locked up. Now get out of my house. <laughs> the commissioner of police is also looking forward to your initiation. He is a very good friend of your late father. Remember, at the expiration of seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds, if you do not pledge your allegiance to the confraternity of Mother Earth, calamity will befall you and your entire household, starting with that handsome boy over there. Listen to me. I don't care what you do or what you say. But this is my family. That is my son. If you as much lay a finger on any of them, Calamity will befall you and the entire member of your court group. Now, get out. Remember, the time is ticking. Said. They said they are starting from my son. Wait, I don't want anything to happen to my son. Nothing should happen to my son. Nothing, nothing will happen to him. Okay? Baby, listen, I've told you, calm down. These people are just bluffing. They can't do nothing. No, it didn't look like they were bluffing, honey. They sounded so real. Listen, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you expect me to do? You should call the police. The police? Yes. Didn't you hear that? <laughs> that the commissioner of police is looking forward to meeting you. What does that tell you? He's also one of them. So you see, it's, it's needless calling the police. Honey, I will not lose my son to those evil men. I will not. I told you calamity would be for you and your entire family. You, you killed my son.
out of my magnanimity, I'll give you a fresh start. Started from seven days, seven hours, seven minutes to reconsider John Knox as a more severe calamity would be for my since the death of our son. No food, no water, not even a bath. But there's no amount of tears or crying that's going to bring him back. So please, at least have this. Yes? Who is this? Good day, Mr. Marcus. Good day. Yes, who are you? I am Barrister Gabriel, and I'm here to serve you this letter. Good. Take a look. What? What, what, what nonsense is this? A letter of eviction? Yes, that's a letter of eviction. You've been evicted from this house. My friend, what nonsense are you talking? Huh? This is my house. Point of correction. Your father's house. My father's house is my house. That is not what the will says. The will says that all the properties belonging to your father has been willed to the confraternity of the Mother Earth. So you have between now and 7 p.m. tomorrow to vacate this property or you'll be forcefully evicted. Do have a wonderful day, Mr. Marcos. Do no such thing! This is my house! My friend, this is my house! I bought this cars with my money! You took my car keys and you took everything from me. Shut up! It is a stubborn flies that goes to the grave with a curse. You are not a wise man. You've lost everything. Everything. Your son? <laughs> Money? House? Everything. I gave you seven days, seven hours, seven minutes to pledge your allegiance to the confraternity of Mother Earth. As you will lose your wife. To hell with you! You will do no such thing! If you touch my wife, I will kill you! Please, sir, don't do this so, please. I beg you. I beg you, please, sir. Stop, please. Sir, don't do this to us. Stop, please. Stop, please. Please, I, I am sorry. 
I am sorry I acted foolishly like the child that I am. Please forgive me. I beg you, forgive me. I, I am sorry. I hate it when my patience is stretched too far. I gave you enough chance to level up. But you choose to act stupidly and blindly. Maybe I should just kill you, and then kill your wife. No, no, please. Not my wife. Please, please. I beg I of you, whatever you want me to do, I, I will do it. Please. I, I will train you. I will replace my father. Please. Please, don't. 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 Please, I beg of you. I beg you. She, she's not like her. Please, don't. 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 Don't kill her. Don't harm her. Don't. I am willing. I'm, I'm ready. I, I will join you. Whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go, I will go, please. I beg go for you. Please. Please. Not my wife, please. 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 You cannot fight them. They are too powerful. Why do you think I can fight them? Who cares how powerful they are? I am more powerful than everybody inside that place. Nobody tells me what to do. I am not you. Can you hear me? I am Jokubei Okenwa. Nobody tells me what to do. I will fight them. My own way. Bullshit. And what are you doing? I'm calling the commissioner of police. I'll get them all arrested and get my father's body. The only reason you didn't see him there is because he went to Abuja on an official assignment. What do you mean? He's one of our senior. Listen. You can't fight these people, brother. They are too powerful. The only call you need to make right now is to call the DPO and ask him to release everyone that you put in their custody because of this issue. They have nothing to do with this. You cannot find them. Join them. Father, this small boy walked in here insulted and desecrated the sanctity of the mother earth. No one has ever walked into the sanctuary and displayed this type of obnoxious behavior. Are we going to allow him go scot-free? Selfish. Wait, am I being selfish? I mean, my boss just died. He was a good man. He was very good to me. I should at least mourn him, pay him his last respect. Right? Yes, every other thing can wait.
going on. Baby. I can't believe my father was a member of a secret cult. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Took his body or his members. They're asking me to join them. Take my father's place. And once I do that, they'll release his body to me. And if I fail, calamity will befall me and my family. Give me some time. How long? Seven days. Seven hours and seven minutes. <laughs> Are you scared of them? I am not your son. What happened to my father? We just had that. We time. just heard. My father was sick. Didn't you know? You know your father kept so much to himself. He hardly related with us. Oh really? Yeah. What happened? Now my father is dead. I guess he called you from the land of the dead and told you to come check up on him. Calm down. Calm down, my son. I said it before, I am not your son. I am not your son. You should be done here. You have the information you need. My father is dead. You should be happy. Time for you to leave. Who came when was my blood brother? It is my legal and traditional duty to cater for his well-being. And now that he is dead, I should make sure he gets a good rest. How do you intend to do that? That is something we have to sit down, put heads together and talk about. I will not put heads together with you. Neither will I sit with you. This meeting is over. Leave my house. <laughs> you heard me. I said leave my house. Ma Monica, are you not saying anything? Are you asking us, your kinsmen, to? Are you deaf? I said leave my house! If I say it again, I will get violent. Leave my house. Now. Get out. What's my fate now? I have worked all my life for this. Lots of suitors were coming for my hand in marriage, but I rejected them all because he assured me that everything will be fine. Hence, I agreed for my bride price to be paid. Only for Chekwas to come back with another woman. What's my fate now? Stella, you need to calm down. You know the situation on ground. My husband is still being held by people I don't know. Let's take care of that first, okay? Good morning, Mother. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry I had you arrested. I understand. You don't like me. That's not the point. 
You're not the only person who was arrested. I needed to unravel the mystery. So have you unraveled it now? That's by the way. I'm sorry. I called you to know how far with the burial arrangements and to also Shouldn't know... Shouldn't that be a family discussion? I see no stranger here. Really? Really? Stella has become a full member of this family. Yeah. She is your wife. Her bride price has been paid. Mother, what is wrong with you? Huh? What is wrong with you? I made it very clear. She cannot be my wife. I have somebody I want to marry. She's sitting right here. I came back from America with her. What is going on? What's wrong? Huh? You think I'm still the, 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 the little Jacobi of yesterday? Why are you not listening to me? I have a wife. This lady can't be my wife. Um, can you two excuse us, please? So I can leave. Okay, see. You are making a very big mistake. Your father chose Stella. I personally raised her, groomed her into a very good woman. We didn't know you were going to come back with this lady. Isn't it obvious you made the mistake? So what do we do? What do we do about what? About the girl, about the situation. And how is that my problem? The only problem I have right now is to bury my father. The other one is your problem, not mine. Excuse me. Um, it's high time she left this house. Stella is your wife. Your father paid her bride price. She's gone nowhere. I don't even know you were going. How am I supposed to know you were going to come back with this? This thing, that all over her body, chain everywhere. I don't even know if she knows anything about kitchen or being a wife. As far as I'm concerned, Stella is the woman in this house and she stays here. You don't have a place here. You don't belong here. You are actually the stranger, not me. I have worked so hard to become a member of this family. I have waited patiently for years to become Chekube's wife. You cannot seriously ruin this for me. I will advise You pack your things and leave this house before something you don't know hits you. Don't mistake my silence for weakness. How do you enjoy love when it's not reciprocated? I mean, I am really disappointed in you. This is a computer age. I mean, no one
woman swims in the quagmire of matchmaking. Chex is my man. And nobody can come in between us. I repeat, nobody, not even you, can come in between Chex and I. I might have spent years in the States. Do not mistake my civilization for stupidity. We shall see. We all regret the passing of our brother. <coughs> The pain we feel will stay for long. But we have to move past it. Chekube, the kinsman asked me to come and see you to find out when it will be convenient for you so that we will assemble and start the preparation of the burial and funeral ceremony. Go straight to the point, uncle. What do they want? How do you mean? You heard me. You want money. They want money, right? Sure. No, my mother, please, let me handle this. Isn't that what you people do around here? Waste money on frivolities, food and drinks. Feed people, get them drunk, and they leave with uh, bloated stomachs, right? Chekube, your father deserves a befitting burial. He also deserved a befitting life. How much did you try to give him that when he was alive? I always come and check on him. More like coming to check if he was still alive. Let me give you something to take home to your fellow parasites looking for where to feed off. Tell them I said I will bury my father the right way, in a very simple way, how I want to do it. I will not waste money on food and drinks. I won't waste money on frivolities. When I'm ready, I'll let them know. Monica, are you going to sit there and watch your son insult the family of, of our people? What do you want her to do to flog me? Is that it? Get a cane and flog me? Better still, you do it. I'm waiting for you. Get a cane and flog me for telling you the truth. The elders will get your message. They will get your message. that house. I know that that man has gone mad. It is because of those things they spoke in the overseas. It has turned his head. And now he has become mad. Okay, why is my blood brother? And I must participate in his funeral full time. Huh. Ibe. I have washed my hands and legs concerning anything burial of Okinawa. The land I stand on bears me witness 
that I did my best. I'm not going to die for anybody's death. Uh, Uwakwe, Uwakwe, nobody is going to die. And if at all it gets to that, we know who is involved. It still feels like a dream. I can't believe that Chief is dead. It's been a long dream. It even got worse after the son arrested us. Who happens to be your husband? Tell me about it. How are you holding up? I don't know. I feel lost. I feel confused. I feel confused too. The workers have not come to terms that Chief is dead. I know. I think you should dismiss all the workers. Once the burial is over, we'll resume work. That's a very wise decision. If you Come on, homie, slow down. I mean, take things easy with these guys. You don't know them, Marcus. I know these men very well. They're dangerous. If I soft battle for them, they'll end up messing things up for me. Now listen, I will not encourage you to do anything they ask you to do that is out of the ordinary. But you see this? This lethal ones, this necessary ones. Please oblige them. Listen, listen, just play the ball with them. No, no, no. no. And leave. You know me, I cannot encourage people to reap others off all in the name of mourning the dead. Reaping where they did not sow. No. Sike, I still advise that you let them do their thing. I have to be on my way. I have a lot of catch up before it comes to me off. <clears throat> that reminds me, CK. Tell me, when are you coming to the other side? Marcus, you've known me for many years. I don't do things because people want me to do them. I do what I want to do, how I want to do it. It won't happen. I'll be part of it. Brother, believe me, you will lose everything. And I mean everything. This house, the father's company, the cars, every investment, I mean every single investment he had made. And if you think of going back to the States, they will seize your passport. And I mean that. They will seize your passport. So get these people are too powerful. Marcus, I've been away for a very long time, I know. But I still believe in the adage. Onyakwe, Chiyakwe. I'm not part of them. Whatever they had with my father, they had with my father. It has nothing to do with me. CK, they made your father who he was. I mean, everything he had would go down with him. And I include you. And that's where we draw the line. When you start talking for me, you've said what you know, you've said what you believe in. Allow me to do me, all right? Let me take care of myself. At the same time, I appreciate your concern. How do me? They're trying to fight them. 
He's fighting with everybody. Well, baby, that is totally his choice. Where I have problem is you involving yourself in it. Thank you. Please, stop meddling with his affairs. Let him be. Let him do whatever he wants to do. What, what are you talking about? Baby, baby think of what we're talking about here. I know, baby, I know. And I know both of you have come a long way as friends. But if he decides to take a different path, let him be. Listen, that nobody is dragging anybody anywhere. CK is my friend. I'm only looking out for him. I'm only trying to make sure he doesn't, you know, make a grave mistake. And that's all. You don't expect me to fold my hand, sit back and watch him make such a terrible mistake. Honey, he's not a baby. He knows what he wants. Please, let's just forget about him. Let's talk about our vacation. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have started the visa processing already. <gasps> <laughs> yes. Come and give me a hug. I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, you kept it away from me. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why it's called a surprise, my darling. Thank <laughs> you. I love you so much. I love you too. Huh? Wow. Okay. Um, let, let me uh, go and take care of some things on my system. Eh? Okay. Uh, hope, hope you know. Right? Yes, right. of course, of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Ah. Mm. Chekube, this is no fight. This is no war. These men are your uncles. They mean well for you. They mean well for their stomachs, you mean? Can you allow them to do their thing? Let them have their way. The money is there for them to pull and have any size of burial they want for your father. This man will get vicious if threatened. I see. Simply means I need to get a long spoon if I ever intend to dine with them. They are your uncles. They can't harm you. Unfortunately, I don't see them that way. Look, mother, allow me to handle these people, all right? And please, give me a break. You know you and I, we don't have that um, mother and son, heart to heart kind of vibes. We don't have it. And you like it? Like what? <laughs> that we don't connect as mother and son. Is it my fault? It's my fault then. Good day, Mama. Good day. How are you? I'm good. You're welcome. Thank you. How was work today? Oh, I didn't do much. I told the workers to take a few days off. Why? I'm asking you a question. I Joe, said, why? Don't walk out of me. No, 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 mother, please, let me handle this. You can see she's walking out of me. I asked her a question. Why would you send the walkers away? What do you want from me? What do you mean, what do I want from you? How can you discharge the workers? Why? Why would you do that? In my father's company? My company? Why? Well, your employer just passed away. It's only the right thing to do. Stay at home for a few days and mourn him. Excuse me, where, where... Did you go to school? Where did you learn that? The head of a company dies, you tell the workers to go away. What, what happens to work? If deals come in, if contracts come in, who handles them? How do you handle things that way? It's wrong, for God's sake. Sir, do you even care about your father at all? Excuse me? If he does, he would have been home. And maybe my darling husband will still be alive. Oh, no, 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 mother. No, no, don't do that, please. No, 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 I, I, I say no, for God's sake. Am I supposed to stay at home and, uh, and take care of your husband? It's your duty, you're his wife. That's how it's done. If I was around, I'll be taking care of my family, not yours. What, what are you telling me? Blame that is supposed to come to you. Allow that blame to come to you. It's your blame, not mine. And you, you don't tell workers to go away in my company, my father's company. The company does not belong to you. It doesn't make sense. Well, I am the boss they know and I answer a bottle. Maybe when you take over, you can run the company how you want it. 
For now, on the orders of your late father, who happens to be my father-in-law, I am in charge. Excuse me. Where did you even get this, this, this person from? Talk to your boss. He is not my boss. Mind your damn business. He is my business. And I won't let you talk to him that way. Or what? No, what will you do if I talk to him that way? What can you possibly do? Bring it on! What can you do? Why are you shouting? I just want to advise you. Take your stinking advice and get out of my room now. And for the records, he is also my business because he is my husband. You see, in his youthfulness and all this foreign idea, he might not be able to understand these things. That is why you have to sit him down and talk to him as a loving mother would do to her beloved son. I took my time to come and explain this to you because of my relationship with your late husband and the position he had in the confraternity. It baffles me that you never knew of your husband's membership in the gathering of men. It's a pity. So pitiful. Talk to your son. We do not reap where we did not sow. And we will never allow anyone to reap from off our sweat. That is what your son is trying to do and we will never allow that. His body must not be buried. His assets and everything he ever owned must be returned to us. You know, that includes you and your sin. We reserve the exclusive right to overlook anything and to give anything we like to anyone we deem deserving. This is not an issue for the public. Okay, one well, let us down. But his good works suffice to let him rest peacefully. I know you don't want to live in this world alone because we will have no use of you. No husband, no son. What are you saying? Do not get your evil self close to my son. Play your part and everyone will be happy thereafter. Listen to me, let's get this clear. My father is dead. It simply means that whatever you had with him is also dead. If I see you in this house again, I'll arrest you, I'll expose you. Is that clear? Why not wait to see your father's will before assuming ownership of this place? Get my message from your mother. I don't have too much time. Just keep going. Don't stop. Outside. Keep going. You will not leave this premises except you provide my father's corpse. What rubbish! I gave to you whatever you call your governor, what, what, what nonsense, whatever you built over there. I told you calmly, give me my father's corpse. You didn't really. You will not live here. You are not leaving my house except you. Pro 
Well, I'm talking to you, my friend. Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm talking to you in my company. Who are you? You will not leave this compound except you provide my father's corpse. I'm waiting. husband and wife who's only son to our part. Oh, shamefully I get the blame for everything. That's bullshit. I have not seen your father's lawyer in a very long time. Your father never told me anything about any will. This is your cross. Carry it dutifully. What else do I need from life? From anybody? I have given up on everything, everybody. So get on it. Oh, let's say my name is included in the will. Of what use will that be? Of course, everything will still belong to you. To be dutiful, that man says we belong to them. As long as we have been enjoying your father's wealth, in as much as the wealth is for your father, it's from them. And that is an end to all. So tell me, what am I supposed to be bothered about? intelligent, I have all the necessary things that complete a man. Why are you not looking my way? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I'm talking about. 
we should be running this company together. We should be building the home together, just as your father has always wanted. So at my age, you don't think I deserve to do what I want to do? That's not fair. I've worked all my life for this. I've dedicated my entire life in building your father's company. I think I deserve better. You get paid for the work you do at the company, don't you? Jacobi, it's not about money. If it was about money, I would not be living in your father's house. I would not be looking after your mother. <coughs> well, thank you very much for everything you've done for my family. Truly appreciate it, but actually that's where it ends. Right? That's where it ends. For me, I have a woman, someone I want to marry. And like you said, you're intelligent, you're beautiful. I mean, you have a lot. You have. You know, I'm sure it won't be a problem for you to get another man. It shouldn't be a problem. Definitely not me. Yeah, we need the duplicate copies, sir. Yes. Uh, definitely, uh, the complaint. Yeah. Where's the room? Yeah, Mr. Chekubin. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. I went to your office. Uh, I didn't see you. Yeah, I was told. I've been busy going from one court to another trying to sanitize this country. I'm sorry for that. It's all right. Listen. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll go straight to the points. You said you're very, you're very busy, man. Yeah. Yeah. I need access to my father's will. Well, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Why? Before your father died, he gave strict instruction that the will can only be read after the burial. And I hope to keep to that instruction. Uh, I see. Well, I understand. I'm a learned man. I know how these things work. But I'm actually his first son. His only son, actually. And I believe, uh, you know, when it comes to me, things things can be changed, you know. I have my reason for wanting to see the will. Well, like I said, the will can only be read after the burial. Your father trusted me very much, so it would be a gross betrayal of trust if I go contrary to what he told me. <sighs> Mr. Chekube, I am sorry I have to take my leave now and I have a case to defend in the court. Okay. Once again, nice meeting you. I will see you on all after the bear. Unacceptable. It has never happened here, and we must not allow it to happen. We guide and protect our own jealously. We work hard for our own because whatever we give returns to us in due time. Okay, one must not be buried until we recover from his family everything he owns that belongs to us unless his son pledges his allegiance 
to the Mother Earth. And when this whole madness stops, we all will gather here for sacred life taking off to Mother Earth. And if that stubborn fool refuses to pledge his allegiance, you go and get that old witch he calls his mother. around everywhere with him, eating and dining and doing all sorts of things with him. I have spoken to him times without number. I have tabled before him the consequences of his disobedience. Chikwas is a stubborn dude. I would tame him. I will cut his wings. He will go on his knee begging for his life. so much. You seem to know everything. Everything about how things work around here. And you're only a secretary. Does it mean my father never had a general manager? Well, my job description involves all of that. I was closer to your father when he was alive. He had so much confidence in me. He never trusted most of his workers, but he trusted me. If my father trusted you that much, like you claim, how come he never told me about you? Hello? Hello? I asked the question. My father never told me about you. How come? I don't know, I, I don't know why he never mentioned anything about me to you. Were you sleeping with my father? What? You heard me. Were you screwing the old man? How could you think of such a thing? No! Really? father tell you about his will? Did he? No, he did not. He entrusted everything about his will to his lawyer. Mm. Why am I having this feeling that you're being cagey? It's 
because you hate me. You don't trust anything that I do. What am I supposed to do? Your father was wrong. Wrong? How do you mean? He told me I would make a good wife to you. That we would both build his business together. He trusted me so much. <coughs> I've actually studied you. I've listened to you. You're educated. You're brilliant. You're exposed. How could you accept this primitive game of matchmaking? To your father, it wasn't a game. He trusted me so much, like I said earlier. He wanted us to be together because of his business. But I guess his intent is now clashing with yours. And that's where the problem is. He sent for me, sir. Yes. Exactly. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, she's, she's beautiful, she's smart, intelligent, you know, has a lot of wonderful qualities. It shouldn't be a problem for her to get any man she wants. Why would someone like that agree to this matchmaking thing in the 21st century? It tells me one thing. She's interested in my father's wealth. That's it. I suggest you give her some time. Well, yes, you never know. 
she can be of help in due time. No, I don't think so. I don't think she can be of help to me. And I've asked her about my father's will. She said she, she knows nothing about it. She only knows the things she wants to know, right? Think, things that she's okay with. She doesn't know things I need her to know, so she can be of help to me. Exactly my point. Look, <laughs> you have to make her comfortable. This is the more reason you have to make her feel relaxed. Trust me, you'll get more useful information from her when she's relaxed. Play cool, my friend. Play cool. <clears throat> Better still, pretend to love her. That's what, that's what women want. I can't do that. I don't care what she wants. I have to give what I have to give. You know, what I can offer. I can, I can offer deception. No, I can't deceive anybody. I can't do it. You don't want to be the one to screw things up for yourself. You don't. Play cool, my friend. Play cool. <clears throat> This is an amazing artifice. A beautiful architecture <coughs> that dad put up here, I must confess. <laughs> Not my thing. Too big. All a waste. It's called Lusbury. Yes. An African man expresses worth in affluence. It has to be seen in his possession and deeds. Big man, big dance, and of course, big problem. <laughs> of course, <laughs> big problems. Africans just don't get it. Believe me, we don't get it. Waste a lot of money. The money spent in building this gigantic house, half of it can actually uh, see at least 10 people through school. Believe me, from primary to university level, and even start a business for them. Waste a lot of money here, we don't, we don't get it. Just in case. If you ask me, I'll say that's you and your thoughts. And not everybody belongs to that school of thoughts, though. Well, you can make a difference if you want. Yes. But I'm only concerned, my friend, that you might lose all of this. All of this. Marcus, don't go there, please. Just don't go there. Honey, what's going on? Oh, what, what is this? I have been calling you, and you're not taking your calls. I was driving. Well, what is the matter? Check your phone. I have called you over ten times. Well, that's very unnecessary. I mean, why, why would you call me that number of times? For goodness sake, one or twice would have been fine. If it was convenient for me to take the calls as and when you called me, I would have taken it. What is the matter? What is it? Well, they were here. What do you mean they were here? Who, who was here? They think he's derailing and might take you along with them. Marcos, you're going to incur the rot again. Why would they come to my house? I, 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 mean, I mean, why would they come to my house? They could have just called me. What? They would have called you when you were not taking your calls. Marcos, if anything happens, I will not forgive you. I will not. What is going on? Why were you in my house? That was exactly why I've come here to ask you 
What is really going on? Why have you not brought your friend? No, no, let me guess. I'm supposed to drag him to the groove to perform his duties. You see, that is the problem with him. Don't make me understand. You see, your body language, the way you talk. Marcos, is there anything you are not telling us? Now look. I know my position, my duties, and my right as a member of this confraternity. And I play it well. I don't like you coming to my house or talking to my wife. Then play your role well. I have to see father. Thank you, father. I'll be glad if you can come to me. Marcus, what is it? Father. Ever since I pledged my own reserved allegiance to this great confraternity, I have never defaulted. I have upheld my duties and my position as a member of this confraternity. Jacob is my friend. And I am trying hard to ensure that he joins us and become a member. But my wife is fragile. I remember what we went through before I decided to become a member of this great brotherhood. She's beginning to panic. Please. I do not want you sending my brothers to my house to terrorize her. I will do everything within my power to ensure that I bring Jacobi in. But please, let's leave my wife out of this. This is my humble request. Do you think you will be able to convince him to join the confraternity? He has no choice. I never wanted to join the confraternity. But when you came at me with your full force, I was left with no option. I am definite that when we unleash the dragon on him, he will be left with no choice than to become a member. But for now, please let's leave my wife out of this. I do not trust him. Father, I don't trust him. No, 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 Marcos, I don't, I don't agree with you. It can't work. Understand me, it's not as if I'm, I'm arguing with you, I mean, you have more knowledge about this, but it just cannot work. I, I can't. I can't have Marcus, hold on, hold on. I, I'll, I'll call you back. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. What's, what's going on? What are, where are you going with, with bags? What's going on? They're mine. <clears throat> my bags. Uh huh. What are your bags doing in my room? Answer me. What are you doing in my room with these bags? You mean our room? How is it our room? What is wrong with you? This? Did you smoke something? How is it our room? Chikubi, I have been very patient with you. I have given you enough time to recognize me as your lawful wife. But because you're dancing to the acrobatic tune of this gate crusher. But just so you know, I am your wife. She's your girlfriend. She has to leave. Or better still, she can go to the guest room and remain there till after the burial. And that's some period. Leave my room. I won't say it again. Leave my room. Baby, baby. Leave my room. 
800. She has some guts. Walking into this room to display your stupidity. Can you shut your guts and mouth? Who gave you the impetus to talk back at me? You are the stupid one here. Look at this thing. Enough. I've had enough. Leave my room. Don't push me. Don't push me. I'll do something you will not like. Leave my room. Listen. I'll leave because of the respect I have for your late father. But after the burial, I am moving in fully with my things. Get that into your skull. Useless. Come and take your bags. Come and take your bags. Take your... Take, 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 carry off. Sorry about that. Leave. What's the meaning of this? This insult is becoming unbearable. This isn't the life you promised me. Chase, you know how I love my peace. I don't think I'll get that here. From the look of things, I think it's high time I left. What's the problem now? Are you okay? Um, I'm trying to make something light for lunch. But well, you don't look okay to me. I should be asking you. What's wrong? It's just about Tukube. I am not happy things are not working out between you two. Ma, please don't worry yourself. You told me to handle things as a woman. I'm trying my best. You're a perfect woman. A perfect woman for my Tukube. A woman whose husband will be proud to make her a business partner. It's not your fault that he has refused to see these attributes in me. You've done your part. Everything will be fine. I'm not feeling good about all this. At all. My cherub, what will be, will be. Mm. Okay? You deserve better, my daughter. Mama, thank you. You deserve better. For everything that you've done. I'm grateful. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, can you use sweets? No. Hasn't got into this. I know you've been uncomfortable since we got back, but I'll take care of this, right? I acknowledge it. It's, it's not the life I promised you when we're coming back, but I'll fix it. Alright, I'll fix it. If you leave me right now, I'll be, I'll be so confused. I won't know what to do. All right, now I'll take care of this. Okay. I promise. I will take care of it. I know it's uncomfortable for you. But I'll fix it. I love you. I love you too. Alright, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it, okay? I'll fix it. You have nothing to worry about. I'll handle it. Everything will be fine, okay? See, you yourself. Listen, I've had enough. Can you hear me? I have had enough. She's leaving this house today. She goes to She is leaving my house she is today. Not she is your wife. She stays. Your father paid her dowry. Then marry her now. Marry her. A woman can marry a woman these days. Marry her. I've had enough. Three days. Can you hear me? Three days, pack your things and leave my house. Else you will see a side of me you've never seen. Leave. Chekube. What? I have been quiet for you for a very long time. I have been keeping quiet for you for a very long time now. And what do you want to do? I have been tolerating all your insults and excesses because of your late father. Okay, beat me. 
I never forced anyone to pay bright price on my head. Lots of suitors have been coming from my hand in marriage. I rejected all of them because of you. Call them back. Tell them you're available now. I'm a very patient person. But just so you know, everyone has an elastic limit. You leave my house. That's my point. Leave my house. I'll be going to the supermarket to get some stuffs. What will you like me to get for you? Mm. Do you like it? Cake. cake? Hello? You want to give her cake? And what is wrong with that? Sugar! So is this what you could do over there? You want to feed an old woman cake? Okay, I get it. You're trying to poison her. Oh. Your plan will not work. You know sugar is not good for her. Enough! Sugar. Enough. Stop blowing things out of proportion. It's just cake. Please, we don't need it. Go and eat your cake. It's not healthy. Mommy, don't worry. I'll go and get you Oppa. Uwa. Angara. Hmm. Okay? You know, this is the real African food. And what? Not Angara. And you're calling. Oh, please, whatever. As long as you know what I'm talking about, we don't need your sugar. Mommy, I'm coming. I'll take care of you. Have you not been able to convince him to join the confraternity? I have tried. I've spoke with him times without number. Chikube is a very stubborn man. Try harder. Let him know the consequences of refusing to join the confraternity. I would do so. May I speak freely? Go ahead. When did we start deviating from what we are known for? I mean, this is not our method of operation. When did we start wasting so much time to do the needful? Chikobe is not just anybody. His father was a strong member of our confraternity. In fact, he had a very strong position. Well, I know that, and I'm sure he also understands that position by now. So why has he not come to take the off? Is it until I kill him? Uh, Father, may I ask this? What if he doesn't want to be a part of us? Did you just ask me that? I thought they said experience is the best teacher. Oh, you did not learn from your experience? Look, my friend. 
Betty to take you off. Tell me, what's your plan? Plan? Apart from burying my father and getting married to my fiance, I don't have any other plan. You know what I'm talking about, Seeker. Listen, this, these people have been way too patient. You have no idea what they will do if you don't comply. Think about your mother. Think about that beautiful woman who loves you. You will lose everything. I will not lose anything. That's the problem you have, man. You keep measuring your life with mine. Shouldn't be. Run your race, bro. Our destinies are different. Live your life. Allow me to live mine. Besides, man, what are you still doing with those people? Huh? You lost your father to them. You lost your son. You lost everything. What are you doing? You keep walking around making people believe that you're happy, but deep down, deep in here, you're sad. You're broken, man. That's the problem you have, man. You keep measuring your life with mine. Shouldn't be. Run your race, bro. Our destinies are different. Live your life. Allow me to live mine. Besides, man, what are you still doing with those people? Huh? You lost your father to them. You lost your son. You lost everything. What are you doing? You keep walking around making people believe that you're happy, but deep down, deep in here, you're sad. You're broken, man. He's right. I lost myself to I share your opinion about keeping it simple. I wouldn't want the whole place to be crowded. Exactly. 
So just allow your uncles to do their thing. That won't be a problem. As long as they're ready to keep it modest. Cool. They'll do their thing with Barry Father. I'll leave. Excuse you me. leave? Mm -hmm. To where? Back to America. I wasn't planning to stay this long. I wanted to come back, see Father, introduce my fiance to you people. Indeed. Jacoby, your father's business is on your neck. Who do you want to leave it for? I never said I was running away. I need to go sort out some things, handle some business, I'll return. At this stage of time? What is it you can't do over the phone? Uh, mother, mother, you don't know how I run my business. There are people I need to see. There are papers I need to sign. There are business meetings that should be held. That's, that's how I do my thing. I'm not running away, like I said. I'll be back. Jokube, when Stella shut your father's business for just a few days, you were mad. You were mad at her. Just look at you. You don't even look like someone who is ready to take over. Mother, isn't it possible to have a normal discussion between us without involving that woman? She is a member of this family. Really? Yes. All right then. We'll see what happens after father's burial. But you need to start getting used to Julian. She's my fiance, and she's going to be my wife. Tintin, what's in the apple now? Tintin, calm down. Tintin, be coming down. Can you see me? Can I calm down? No, tell me now. Are you going to see me? Can I calm down? You know they're still within the apple. Can we don't do this soft for this matter now? We don't do this soft now. Can we kill now? Can we kill now? I don't like to reach the car with this matter. We don't try to destroy the church. No one kill. What's up now? I won't buy it. My body they buy it. I won't kill. That's all good day. Guy, no forget say Chief Okewan was an important member of the fraternity. He has done a lot for us too. We cannot disrespect his memory by being so wild. I don't care. Like I don't give a fucking care. He's dead and dead and gone for good. There's something you need to understand. The dead does not remember whatever happens when they left. Guy, I won't kill. I won't kill. Calm down. We are men messengers. Let's allow them do their thing. Let them do their thing. God, my body divides me now. You don't forget. You don't forget say the more we kill, the more we get fortified. What did they do you now? What did they do you now? Why? Guy, I want, no, they tell me. I want kill. Not tell me anything, guy. 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 <sighs> See you're blocking my gate. Take out this thing, let me enter my compound. Ha. I'll jam you. I'll use my car and hit you. I will jam you. Take this nonsense out. Let me enter my compound. This is to remind you that this is the property of the confraternity of the Mother Earth. We owe this place. 
like you have been mandated if you fail to pledge allegiance to the confraternity of the mother heart at the expiration of seven days seven hours you will be staying to coma Now answer me. If you are no stark raving mad, how dare you accost her? Answer me. Baby, I was trying to protect you. Protect me from who? Huh? Agata, protect me from what? This is the height of it all. Ah, 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 have you lost your mind? Now listen to me. This will not happen ever again. Stayon CK and his family and anything that has to do with this issue. This is an order you must not flat. Don't forget that action is life while you were sleeping. But I can't kill you in my husband's house. Besides, you're not relevant to me. I only came here to prepare food for my husband. <laughs> Let me just be your dreams. Because even in reality, you can't even kill me. Rubbish. <laughs> Sorry, right. I'm, I'm sorry for for yelling at you. I'm, I'm sorry for talking to you the way I did. I was upset. Yes, I was really, really upset. Baby, 
I don't want to experience what happened to us again. That was horrible. I know, I know. Um, see, we we need to talk. Yes, I've been thinking of late. I've been I've been thinking really, really, you know, seriously. We we, we need to talk. Look, CK has has refused to do their bid. He's, he has refused to do what they want. He has defied them. But till now, till this very moment, they've not been able to punish him. Neither have. Have they been able to harm him? Nothing. I... I'm tired. I, I am fed up. Tired of living my life for other people. To begin with, this was my father's mistake and not mine. Huh? I can't continue to live in his errors. I want to ask them for my freedom. <sighs> Baby. You are joking, right? Look, I, I was desperate. I was, I was desperate and helpless. I had no choice. Now I'm, I'm ready to face this with my clear head. Yes. I'm sorry, I know this is not going to be easy. I know it's going to come with some type of consequences, but I don't care anymore. I do not care. This madness, all of this madness has to stop. Okay. Are you serious? I've never been this serious in my whole life. I mean every bit of what I'm telling you right now. You. Okay. How do we go about it? That's exactly what we have to figure out. We have to think of something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe. There is no we here. Honey, listen, please. You need to figure out this all by yourself. Don't put me in it. Remember you had a chance of turning them down. Oh, you did it. And now you're, you're telling me that we, we, we do what? What opportunity did I, I had that, 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 I, that I, 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 I didn't take? What opportunity are you talking about? Have you forgotten how we got here in the first place? This all started because of... Me trying to save our lives, uh, save your life. They, they took everything from us. They killed our son. They trained him to kill you. What was I supposed to do? I had no choice. How could you say that to me? Well, I don't just know what to say. I don't. Look, listen to me. I, I I know how you feel. I totally understand. I know your fears. I have them too. But the truth is, hmm. we can't continue like this. I mean, look at us. We pretend to be happy when deep down the inside we're not. Look at the life we're living. I have literally lived for other people. This is not the life I want for myself, not the life that I want for my family. Look at what they've done to us. We pretend to be happy when, when we are not in the inside. Since the death of our son, we can't even have another child because we don't know. They might come up tomorrow and say, this is the one to replace you. This is not the life I want, baby. I, I want us to be free. We deserve to be free. You deserve to be free. I mean, I don't care if they want to take everything, take the house, the car. I don't care. I mean, we can go somewhere else and start a new life. We have, have our own kids. Something, something new, something real. Something that has nothing to do with anybody. That's all I'm saying. Look.
do this to me? Could you join me as people? Could you? But I'm disappointed. Son, I have waited for you for too long. Now listen. I belong here, and here I have returned to rest and give you all the powers to continue from where I stopped. Before my death, you will come here to be initiated into the sacred tomb of Mother Earth. They will give you all the powers, the money, and the influence to control men and nations. It all starts and ends here. I don't know what you're talking about, but what I owe you is a burial. I need to commit you to Mother Earth. I will never join these people. I don't know who they are. Sikiri, what about you doing here? Bro, you need to help me. Help me, let's move my father from here. Please. Help me, let me give him a burial. That's the best thing I can do for him right now. Help me. Help me, please. I, I can't carry him alone. Help me. You know that it's not possible. I can help you. Julian, it's not possible. Come on now. You've been my friend for many years. I don't even know how you joined these, these evil people. But just, that's by the way, it's actually your business. Just help me, let me, let me move my father from here. I'm like a brother, help me. I cannot carry my father alone. Help me, please. You are as stubborn as your father. One thing you must know, it is a stubborn fly that goes to the grave with a house. The stubborn grasshopper ends in the belly of the head. Sorry for what I'm about to do to your entire household. With all due respect, Father, I must say you have lowered enough. It is time to bite. I am going to bite deep into his flesh. You wish he never bothered the plane back home. Make him bleed. Make him suffer. Make him flee for life. That is, if he survives your fans. He will have no place to run to. I shall make sure of that. I have become, I have been quiet, enough is enough. You all will bear me witness, that I've born too much from Chikube, the son of Okewa. Like as I said, enough is enough. 
of police, the DPO, and other top security officials. They're all their members. I tried to use them to recover my father's body, but all to no avail. I think it's high time I did it my own way. What do you intend to do? God, what am I going to do? I'm confused. Where do I even start from? On the other hand, Jake's father belongs to a secret court and his corpse is being held. Not just that, he has a wife already. <sighs> Please God help me. Should I just pack my bag and leave? No, I can't just throw away two years of relationship. I love Jake's and I believe he loves me too. I can't just leave him for anybody. God, please help me. You're leaving this house. Jump it! Carry this back. Throw it away. Stop that nonsense. I can tell you've lost it. You're the Throw my face out. Are you mad? Lost what? Do you know how long I've waited for check was? Are you mad? Come, I'll be worried, girl. I know they like no sense. Mama, I'm show you better for this. Hey. You're the crest. Better I just warn you. Let me just tell you a warning. Mm. America, I know I'm going to I know I'm going to warn you in America. Mother, shall talk. I'll let my accord beat you here now. You're the crest. All the decisions they don't get mad. All the decisions they don't get mad. I've been worried. I'm not well, though. I'm not well. I don't know. 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 What is going on here? No. I don't know. I am so disappointed at both of you. What you did out there was disgraceful. You have suddenly lost respect for me. My husband is still lying out there in the cold. 
Stella. Julian. Both of you should calm down. When my husband is buried, we can all sit down and sort all this out. <clears throat> Mommy, I'm a peaceful woman. I know we've not gotten along with each other, considering the present circumstances we met when we arrived. I love Chekube, and he loves me. I'm not seeing us stopping anytime soon because we have come a long way. I am your future daughter-in-law. And I do not want to ask Chekube not to accept you. What did you do when you found out that we were married? When you found out that my bride price had been paid, what did you do? You bundled yourself into the house, forced yourself into him because you want one where you did not work for. What was I supposed to do? No, tell me. What was I supposed to do? Run away and leave my husband? Throw away two years of relationship just because you allowed yourself to be my friend into his life. Bitch, what did you just say? You don't talk back at me, don't dare. You have no idea what I've been through. You have no idea how I have been working for this family. All you do is sit your ass in the US and spend Chekube's money. Oh, for Don't talk to me that way. Don't. For the sake of clarity, Stella. I am Juliana Sonto Uchendo, a graduate of MIT, a software developer who has been recognized oh, by police software world, software my fault. Bullshit. I am not interested. No sense. I just want to clear you that I am not one of your gold digger parents. I accuse you. What did you just call me? Did you just call me a gold digger? Mother, did you just call me Will a gold digger? Both of you shut up and sit down. What is all this nonsense? Sit down. <sighs> has made his choice. Can we respect that and move on? Mother, did you actually just say this? Really? And what are you waiting for? Live with her. Stranger is fighting my wife to be. Soon she'll start fighting me. What, 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 what,
is this? How can a stranger be giving me headache in my own house? Tell this girl to leave. Calm down. I've already talked to both of them. You, see, we need to focus on how to recover your father's body and give him a befitting barrier. After that, we can sit like family and discuss this properly. There's nothing to discuss, mother. How many times will I say this? I'm, I'm going mad. There's nothing to discuss, okay? I, I, you cannot choose a wife for me. It doesn't happen anywhere. I have a wife already. I have somebody I want to marry. Tell this girl to go. Even if I want another wife, you won't choose the person for me. I'll choose. Tell her to leave. Tell her about the discussion. Don't forget that action. Good day, mommy. This ritual is the girl's action. Mommy, I know you're angry about what happened. That was wrong. I shouldn't have fought back. I'm a very peaceful woman. Before I could agree to come home with Jacobe, I already had a picture of you. Because he told me a lot of positive things about you. Are you sure Chikube told you positive things about me? Or you're saying it to impress me? Because we don't agree on anything. You're already aware of it. I'm aware. But, <laughs> mommy, I know you two don't get along. But I'm assuring you, he loves you very much. Because he has said a lot of good things about you. I'm sure he's just stressed and his father's body being held. <sighs> Mommy, believe me, when everything settles, you will understand how much he loves you. And I'm very sorry for what happened. That was definitely not me. And I promise you, this will never repeat again. Please. I've heard you. Like I said, when the burial is over, everything will be sorted out. Okay? Okay. I'll see you later, Mom. Mommy, can you keep a secret? It depends on the secret. to tell you now. Chekube is not aware of it. Okay. I'm pregnant. Stay there! 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 Stay there!
You never force a member to stay. That people are allowed to leave whenever they wish. Yes. And I told you this case. I want out. I want to quit. Please. Set me free and don't harm me. I need to remind you. I've been there. Please, set me free. I cannot set you free. But why? There is no replacement for you. Your son is dead. Your son is no more. No thanks to you. You may go. fast approaching and the stubborn fly has not pledged his allegiance to the brotherhood. I guess it is because of the position his father held when he was alive. But I think it is high time you taught him a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. I gave him seven days, seven hours. Seven minutes. There is a time to show mercy, a time to judge, and a time to kill. At the expiration of the seven days, seven hours, seven minutes, the why we end up calamity would befall him and his entire family if only he knew what is about to befall him. He will yield to my advice. Stubbornness is often a sign of insecurity and a way to hold on to a very fragile equilibrium. Strong men know when to compromise when necessary. But stubborn people are always fearful of change, which explains the rigidity that characterizes much of their behavior. Chikube, you are a stubborn fly. Remember what I told you about the stubborn fly that goes to the grave with a corpse. You have less than 24 hours to join the confraternity. I am not going to repeat this again. This is the last time you will see me here. Good night. Why you thought about this, Mavino? I'm ready. 
ready to quit. I told him already, but he's not ready to let me go. Because there's no one to replace me. So what are you going to do? Say, I am tired. I, I am tired of living in bondage. I am tired of, of living the life of others. I, I am tired of pretending to be fine when I know deep down in the inside I am not happy. This, 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 this people killed my father. They took my son. I lost myself since my son passed. So has my wife. But I also look forward to the day that I will have my revenge. Yes, I will. And how are you going to do that? I mean, how do I get my father's corpse? That's 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 my concern. I've done everything I can, all to no avail. So, what next? It is true they are very connected and highly influential. But I know what we must do to neutralize their power. Yes. And what's that? For, for hours now, yet we've not gotten there. What, what's happening? Are you trying to set me up? What are you talking about? Set you up? Come on, you know I can't do a thing like that. Listen, CK, I, I am putting a lot on the line just to set us free. Huh? We're almost there. All we need right now is to keep going. Come on, let's go. Child of the Mother Earth. Why have you come to my shrine? Why are you, you not know fully well that you are not eternal life? life? You, you are an, an enemy. enemy. And, and every, every member of the Mother Earth is an, an enemy. enemy. Why have you come to my shrine? shrine? I am not your enemy. Because I have done nothing to you. Father is your enemy. And now he has become my enemy. I have come to help you crumble your enemy and bring him to his feet. Your friend has a strong spirit. No wonder your fellows find it difficult to handle him. He has his father's corpse. I have decided to quit the Mother Earth Comfortant. He has refused to let me go. And he has refused to release his father's corpse. 
What must we do to destroy the Mother Earth fraternity? You will bring three sacred rings from the members of the Mother Earth, including his fathers. And I will bury it for seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds. After which, I will exhume the grave. Whatever comes out from the grave, I will destroy. Then the Mother Earth will be neutralized. There is no time. Let's go see. Stella Obi. This is Chief Okenwan's secretary. I need to see you, sir. Very well, then. Look, look, look. I have checked your father's corpse. I've checked everything. That ring is not there. I have reasons to believe that ring should be in the house. No, it's not. I've checked everywhere. I've checked my father's room. I didn't see the ring. What do you mean you didn't see the ring? Look, go back in and check. I mean, those places you haven't checked before. Just go in. I, I, I'm sure it's here. Congratulations once again, baby. Like, this is the sixth case you're winning in just two months. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect when you have a wonderful, supportive and lovely fiancé like you? Don't make me blush now. Come on, baby. You know it's the truth. Your encouragement, your prayer, your your love, they strengthen me. In fact, after God, I dedicate all my wings to you. Yeah, that is why each time I win in the case, the first person I'll call is always you to I give you the good news. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you too. Are you expecting anyone? No. No, I don't really entertain the visit or to a weekend. So, who could that be then? Okay, just hold on. Let me find out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Who are you looking for? I'm here to see Barista Raymond. Is he expecting you? Who are you? Tell him that you for one secretary is here to see him. I see.
Who's done? Some girl, she, she says she's a good thing. I mean, she says she's some chief secretary. Something like that. She fucking my secretary. She called earlier. I told her I wasn't going to see her this weekend at her. I'll see her on Monday. So what is she doing here? I don't know. Maybe you just find out. I called you earlier. This is Stella Obi. I told you um, <coughs> that I can only see you on Monday. What are you doing here and how did you even locate my house? You're very funny. I was the only person Chief trusted in his office. What makes you think I don't have all your details? I see. What do you want? I need us to sit and talk. See, my fiancé is around. He's not going to be comfortable seeing us talk here. Then let's get out and talk. Listen to me. I'm trying to be a gentleman here. I am trying to comport myself the much I can. I've told you, I like spending time with my loved ones on weekends. I don't entertain any visitor. And I've told you before, I will see you on Monday. Have a wonderful day. I need access to Chief's will. What did you say? You heard me correctly. I need access to Chief's will. What makes you think I'll grant you access to Chief's will? I need to know the contents. I've served him all my life. I need to know what I stand to gain in the will. I need you to leave my house this minute. And if you don't leave my house this minute, I'm going to call the police. Get out. Get out.
Smart man, don't come out again. So some girl came to your house and you want me to let it slide just like that? Baby, come on. I've already explained to you. I don't even know this girl. Even though I've heard about her from Chief, I, I, I don't know her. Oh, you want me to believe that? No, go on. Go on. Fine. Baby, she wants me to do something illegal. What is that? She wants me to grant her access to Chief Okenwa's will. Why? <gasps> Why would she want that? I, I don't know. She was saying she wanted to know if Chief included her in the will. I, I can't do that. Is she family? She's not. That's the point. Oh my God. Like, is she crazy? I mean, she's not family and she wants to be included in the wheel. How is that possible? Beats my imagination. I just told her to go. I called the police. So she left. She did well. Do not allow this to disrupt this. Come on. Stop. Fine. Come here. What you want is this is temptation. You want them to just come and distract the wonderful moment we were having. You know what? What? I kept something for you. Okay. And the room. Really? What could this be? You lie. What could this not be? Stop. Keep in the room for me. Come here, you Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Come here. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god, Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my Oh fuck you guys up. Shut up. Nonsense. Marcos. What are you doing here? I need your ring. We are behind this. So I don't want to do to neutralize my power so as to bring me here. Yes, I did. Now we will repeat this. I need your ring. Sureta, I've always known you would be dross. I told father about you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, you traitor! <sighs> For the last time, I want your ring. But I don't have it. You know that I know you have it. What are you trying to do? Hold it. What are, what are you trying to do? What? What? Ah, 
get rid of him. Yes, boss. I am not sitting. What do you want? Waiting to even play for yourself. <laughs> Maybe you. <laughs> oh boy. You do bring me up. You do not. No college. I don't tell you before saying party you just prepare me. George here. Where's the wheel? It's in somewhere safe. Which place? Somewhere very safe. I need access to the wheel. It is impossible. The wheel can only be read after Chief's burial. I don't care. I need to know the content of the will. Like I said, it is impossible. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Just relax. What is it now? What are you fighting? Move. 
listen these boys were just released from the prison they have been at the prison for 10 years they never had sex imagine what they would do to your lovely girlfriend give me what i want and let me live in peace you are dreaming chief trusted me when he was alive he trusted me with his life. What makes you think I'm going to be dreamer who trusted me because he's dead? You are dreaming. I am not giving you what you want. Sega. What is that plug? Well, plug. What is it plugging now? What is it? Stop it! Stop it! Stop that! Why am I not hearing her voice again? I'm asking you, why am I not hearing her voice again? What has he done to her? Shh. What did he do to her? You will go to jail! All of you! You will go to jail! Is she still alive? Mama, she the rest. Now only me don't do, but my never ever enter. She don't go collect fancy. See, I'm not, I don't knock out a week. I knock out a uh, body to prepare me, Mama. You will all go to jail. You will all go to jail. If you not comport yourself, I go buy this your shankens, and there is nothing anybody go do about her. You did stop. What did you do, baby? Me. Why are you unnecessarily being stubborn? You want to lose the love of your life and eventually lose your life because you don't want to betray Chief? Can I ask you something? You said you were the only one chief trusted in his office when he was alive. Yes. How is that possible? How? What do you mean, how? How can a sane man trust a woman like you? You don't look trustworthy to me. You are a pathetic, frustrated little witch. It's obvious you deceived the chief. There is every probability you jumped him. You are a devil! <laughs> Mama, why now? Why you do like this? You know, say we just come up from Sanko. You won't carry on go back, Sanko. Never was there for here, us. Let me answer your question. I sacrificed a lot to be lawyer to chief. I was lawyer because I wanted to marry his son. He assured me I was going to marry his son. He promised me. As a matter of fact, my bride price was paid. But he never informed his son about me. His son came back to the country with another woman. My mother-in-law was supposed to stand by me. No, she betrayed me. I used to be an angel. But do you know what I found out? Being an angel doesn't pay. They turned me into this beast you seen today. So shut the fuck up and tell me what the way is now. Listen, I'll be back. 
If you do anything stupid, I'll kill you and I'll kill her. Take a come with me. Secretary, he asked me to bring some documents home. Sorry, who are you? I'm his younger sister. Oh, you're the secretary he always talks about. Oh, <laughs> he does? Yes. You know, the way he talks about you makes me want to ask. Are you sleeping with my brother? Uh, no, <laughs> hell no. He's my boss. I can't, I can't sleep with my boss. I'm sorry, is he inside? No, he went to the village to see our mother. But he'll be back tomorrow. I can help you keep the document for him. Um, no, 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 no. I, I will see him on Monday in the office. No, no. Okay then. Have a wonderful day. I guess you discharged her. Those documents she brought are very important. What I want from you is also very important. I can't give you what you want. I can't. Are you, are you, are you deaf? I can't give you what you want. People have reasons they hire me. They have reasons they entrust me with their will and secrets. I cannot betray Chief. I can't. No matter what you do. You are just wasting your time. hot inside. You see this one right here? It's more dangerous than this one. He raped an entire family. <laughs> Including grandma. I raped grandma joint. So give me what I want. I will not let him touch her. Baby, baby, please, I'm begging you. Please, give them what they want. I cannot stand this, babe. I will die. I'm begging you, babe. Please. Please. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I can't do that. I can't betray you. Please. 
Please, you, you need to understand, baby. I can't do that, please. You never loved me. You never loved me, so you've been deceiving me all this while. No, baby, no. You never loved me. No, baby, I, baby, I deeply love you. You know that. You love me? Yes. You love me and you can't give up your stupid policy? You want them to rape me again? She, she didn't understand. <laughs> See, just, just... Okay. What's up, oh, yeah? I know a place where he hid the documents inside. Interesting. Thank you, baby. Tega? Mama, I'll do your side. Go with her, both of you. Why are you doing this? I hate you. I hate you with passion. I told you, you will lose everything. At least I still have my integrity. I still have that intact. Not like you. Your own has decayed. You've lost your own. Chief Okiyama will be so ashamed of you wherever he is now. Listen. Immediately I get what I want. I'll kill you. I am not scared anymore. It will gladden my heart to be the person that will send you to jail. We shall see. You! Where are you hiding those documents? They were supposed to be there! You told me you hid everything in the room! Well, I lied to you, baby. The same way you lied to me. <laughs> I know who you are. But I'm way smarter than you are. Way smarter. I know you were sent here by my greatest enemy, Don Morris, to retrieve some information and documents needed to send the son to jail. I know. You are shocked. Oh, I am smart, right? You know, when you walked into my office, and you were looking so attractive, so sexy, and then I was so horny, I needed a company, I needed a girl. So you came in at the right time. But there was something odd about you. There was something I wasn't really comfortable about. That was why I did all the tests on you, HIV, hepatitis B. When I found out who you really are, do you know what I did? I had to take away all the documents in this house because of you. You were never my fiance. If you are actually the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with, you would not suggest I compromise my policy and betray my clients. You are very stupid and selfish. That boy you want to send to jail is my only brother. I should have poisoned you when I had the chance. Sorry, baby. Sorry. You didn't. You, 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 you. Hey, 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 listen. I am not interested in your personal brohaha. Give me the fucking will and stop wasting my time! Now! Well... I am not giving you the fucking will. You are wasting your time. Well, since I can't have it... What is here! Drop your weapon! I'm like that! I need it! Now! Go on, go off your head! Drop your weapon, I like that now. All of you. Ow. 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 
Officer. Arrest her. She's one of them. He's lying. Don't worry. When we get to the station, you explain better. Go there and lie down. So tell me. How did you know? How did you know I was in trouble? But did you know that that lady is, is a bastard liar? Could you believe she told me she was your sister? And she didn't know she was talking to my only sister. Well, that was when I knew something was wrong. And I had to go to the police station and have it reported. By the way, why did you allow them to take destiny? What happened? Cindy. Destiny is a spy sent to retrieve some document from me and kill me. Jesus! But that is insane. How did you know? Fine, thank you. Everything is going fine. Daddy, he has given me his spare keys. And I think I have completely gained his trust at the moment. No, he's not at home at the moment. I think he's in the office. I won't let you down, Dad. I will ensure I pick up all the documents and kill him. That fool thinks he can send my only brother to jail. Hell no, it's not happening. Not on this life that that will happen. Not when I'm here. Okay. So that was how I knew. And you didn't arrest her? Well, I wanted to arrest her immediately, but then, on a second thought, I decided to give her the surprise of her life. I wanted to arrest her on her birthday, which is coming up tomorrow, but God had other plans for her. So this girl has been a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, son God, this up, brother. You see what I've been telling you. Be careful with women. Now look at what is happening. I am single. I'll keep searching. Let's just say your brother is so lucky with women. Don't worry, one day I'll get lucky. 
Come and give me something to eat. I am so famished. So famished. <laughs> In dark and ridges, that near pairs its toes. As another cat devour, his concerned six feet down its hole. We gravely offer a salute to those about to rot. As from our mouths, the melody is bled in a symphony scripted in red. Like the rats by the piper we are led to join us in this song for the dead. Throw the rings into those graves. the rings. Seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds is gone. Exhume the graves.
our power lies in this three virgins. There we are buried alive. And it stayed seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds in the grave before they died. Their bodies will be thrown into the forest of the virgins where they will rest. It is over. You are free. You can go now. Talk to me now. Talk to me. What is it now? What is it? Maybe what now? Maybe what? Hey! What now? Talk to me. to you. I swear I will kill myself. Please don't leave me. Please, I know you can hear me, please.
the stubborn fly is about to go down the grave with a curse. Just time. Seven days. Seven hours. Seven minutes. A supper. It's time to unleash the dragon. Blood for blood. Let's go. This is not true. It's not possible. Mystic force, that shall retain over the blood and over the dream. The flesh shall train, the nerves shall wake, the wounds renew, and every drop cry blood for blood. Life is in place. Death, Death is in this food. Death, Death is contagious. God has heard of the problem that we are coming in. Death we fear not. We, we, we die in millions of the millions of the earth. Keep an eye on him, okay? This is the right time for you to pray hard. With God, all things are possible. So don't panic, all right? So we keep on checking on him time to time, okay? Excuse me. Baby, I would do anything to make sure I save you. I would do anything. Just be calm, okay?
don't forget this life is life I do your leave you command you start my fire die my fire amen die my fire amen because brother is he that is the me that he that is in the world oh not my god yeah how about this here the how about Yes, please. You are under arrest for the murder of one Mr. Kevin Anosike. You are advised to remain silent. Whatever thing you say or do can be used as an evidence in the court of law. Baby, what is it? What, what, what is going on here? Sir, sir. Which, why, why are you arresting him? It's okay. It's okay. Just, just let me go with him. It's, it's fine. What is this now? <laughs>
anything about her. She was a good girl. She was just a victim of circumstance. She was greedy and selfish. Anybody in her shoes would have done the same. Please, talk to Chekube. I know he will not listen to me. Let them release her, please. Mama, her case is with the police. They will handle it. Just look at me. You and Chekube will soon travel back. I'll be left alone in this house. She is my friend. The only one who understands me. She keeps me company. Mama, I understand how you feel. Don't. Even if she's released, which is most unlikely, she can't stay with us anymore. And for the records, I will not be going back with Chikube. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So whatsoever you need, just tell me. Anything at all, I am ready to do it for you. I am here to stay with you, Mama. Hmm? Anything. So, let me step out to get something to make for you. Hmm. I guess this is the first time I'm seeing you smiling like this. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> you are stuck with me. Don't miss me. I'll be back. Okay? <laughs> So, I forgive you for abandoning me and your mother for this long. It has not been easy. But because of the kind of person your mother is, we have been able to pull through to this extent. I want you to take good care of your mother. I want her to meet me in the life after, still strong and ever beautiful. In the company, there was virtually nothing I could do without Stella. And that is why I groomed her to be your business partner and wife. I have already paid her bride price. If you wish, take her as your wife. She is a good woman. She will form a good team to make our company a global phenomenon. Everything I have ever owned belongs to you, Chekube Okenwa Williams. Some people will come and claim that they made me. Do not allow them. Fight them. I know you're a strong man. I am the one that rather made them. You have the original documents of all the houses, the cars, and companies, all in your name. Make sure you take good care of your mother and build a big family with Stella. My brothers will want to come close when I am gone. I will not want to tell you what to do with them. I leave you 
with your discretion. But know it that they never liked us. They hated my success and did everything possible to bring me down. It is left for you to either forgive them or show them the way out. I love you, son. We will meet to part no more. Okay. Um. <coughs> so, you've heard from the horse's mouth. I've done what I was instructed. Like I told you, um, he made it clear to me that the will can only be read after the burial. Thank God the burial was successful. And he also instructed me to hand over this to you. Inside here, you find all the documents as regards your father's property. Once again, I accept my heartfelt condolences. I will be on my way now. Thank you. Vanity, all is vanity. Vanity, your vanity. 